History Spotlight, brought to you by HEC Media and the Missouri Historical Society. Hi, I'm Dr. Jody Sowell from the Missouri Historical Society, and this is History Spotlight. Completed in 1874, the Eads Bridge was the first bridge across the Mississippi River in St. Louis. Public historian Andrew Wonko tells us why engineers felt that building it was an impossible feat. In the years immediately following the American Civil War, St. Louis was growing at an unbelievably rapid pace. We were right in the middle of the country, situated on one of the biggest rivers in the continent. Uh, but St. Louis had a huge problem. That river that brought all of these goods to and from the city was also becoming this huge barrier as railroads were growing, as the new way things were transported around the country. All the railroads connecting St. Louis to eastern cities had to stop on the Mississippi's banks, and all of those goods had to be ferried across one at a time to get them into St. Louis itself. This was a huge problem that was holding St. Louis back from becoming an even bigger city. St. Louis knew it needed a bridge across the Mississippi River, and the bridge that we got came from one of the most brilliant mechanical minds St. Louis has ever known. James Eads was no stranger to the Mississippi River. When he was 13 years old, he watched all of his family's belongings sink in a steamboat accident right off of the St. Louis levee. After that, he invented a diving bell that allowed him to go down and search for uh, steamboat wrecks on the bottom of the Mississippi. He built ironclad gunboats for the Union Army during the Civil War. His life was tied to the river. But in 1867, he got the commission to build the Mississippi River Bridge at St. Louis. Probably the most fascinating thing about it was that he was a man who had never built anything resembling a bridge any time in his life before, so he certainly knew what kind of stakes he was up against. The Eads Bridge was an engineering marvel like none that had come before. This bridge would leap across the Mississippi River on two piers that spanned 500 feet each. This was shocking and amazing, this length of distance that this bridge was going to be able to cover. But even more amazing was that Eads would use steel to do it. Steel in the 1860s was a metal that was still as much alchemy as science. People did not trust it. They really didn't know what kind of power it had. And when people looked at the plans for the Eads Bridge, this looked skeletal. It looked weak. People thought it was going to fall over just under its own weight. They had no idea what James Eads knew, how strong steel truly was, and what kind of incredible weight it could support. The Eads Bridge took from 1867 all the way to 1874 to build, and again was an engineering marvel unlike any other. When it finally did open, people were still very nervous about it, so James Eads knew a good PR stunt when he saw one. He actually walked a trained circus elephant across the bridge because the widespread belief at the time was that an elephant would not set foot on something that it knew was unstable. If that wasn't enough, at the bridge's opening, he parked 14 fully loaded locomotives on the bridge at the same time just to prove how unbelievably strong it truly was. It still stands 150 years later and is still one of the icons of the city of St. Louis. Historically, St. Louis was described as first in shoes, first in booze, and last in the American League. Next week on History Spotlight, a look at St. Louis's shoe industry. To learn more about the Missouri Historical Society, visit mohistory.org.